Hey, good afternoon. How are all my beautiful Soul Family members doing today? Hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today is Friday, August 23rd. Uh, the time is 12.13 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's a beautiful sunny day in my neck of the woods where I live in the world, which is the Rocky Mountain area of the United States. Uh, I'm excited to be sharing this tarot reading with you guys today. Um, I've been thinking a lot this morning. It's been, a, I've had a really good morning, right? Really good energy. Uh, and I did have the chance to dance, right, this morning uh, when I got out of the shower, which it was, it was really interesting. You know, uh, a great experience. Uh, and it kind of gives me permagrin, so it makes me smile a lot. I kind of make myself laugh at the thought of it. Um, you know, but yeah, closing my eyes and uh, it's interesting, you know, because in my mind, it's like I'm on an island, you know, and it's kind of like an islander, Native American-ish type dance. I don't even know what it's about, but uh, it, yeah, interesting experience. It was fun. It's very liberating, so I highly encourage that and recommend that for all of you. Um, it takes a little bit of bravery. We kind of have to step out of our comfort zone, right? Even though I'm just there by myself, I still, you know, still have a little bit of a wall to, that I need to, that I have to overcome each time. So, but I've been uh, a great morning. I went to the grocery store and got groceries for Max and I uh, for this the weekend and upcoming week, which was great. Um, but I've been thinking a lot about unconditional love uh, and the power of unconditional love. You know, unconditional love is, is the energy that it trumps all energies. You know, and it's, and it's an energy that I'm trying to be very mindful of, of um, allowing to just em embrace it right throughout my life uh, in every facet of my life. It's just, it, unconditional love is, it trumps all energies. Um, you know, it provides forgiveness and, and understanding and uh, communication and empathy and sympathy and compassion and service. Giving and sharing. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's just, it fascinates me. And it's what I'm, what I've been trying to create. Uh, truly, it's what this channel is all about. Uh, Tara, love and abundance, right? It's about being able to experience and manifest more love and abundance in your life. And we're able to do that by being able to embrace and take on more of that energy of unconditional love within ourselves. Right? Because at the end of the day, it's what, it's what everybody wants, right? We all want desire unconditional love in our lives right from within and also around us you know we all want to be heard we all want to be understood we all want to be you know, listened to and forgiven uh, you know we all want to pass every now and then so anyways I just wanted to take a few minutes and just talk a little bit about unconditional love and the power of it um, and I know you guys get this so I know it because I, I can tell in the comments that I read on the channel um, that there's just so much unconditional love there, right? And I'm grateful for it. And, and I'm trying to, you know, just send it right back. So let's get, uh, let's get started with today's tarot reading. The background music that I am playing is the Miracle Tone, 528 hertz. Uh, yeah, I just thought we'd give it a try and see what it's like. So we want to begin today's tarot love reading by tapping the crystal healing bowl. Just letting it sing to us for a moment. And this is a perfect time to just remove ourselves from the outcome, open ourselves up to receiving any messages that may be meant for us to hear in today's tarot love reading. on this end. 
uh, very powerful, very vibrant, fantastic energies. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is pull an affirmation card just to see which affirmation our guides feel would be best suited for us to hear, taking us into today's Tarot Love Reading. Okay, beautiful. Throw my spectacles today. Okay, beautiful affirmation. We drew the affirmation of joy, the number 16, which reduces to a seven, representing spiritual wisdom. As I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. As I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. As I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. Okay. Interesting, a beautiful affirmation, and it's making me think about unconditional love, right? And, and when we're able to embrace the energy of unconditional love within ourselves, it's beyond happiness. What it truly creates is joy. And joy is lasting happiness. Okay, so I want to take a moment real quickly and read to us from the guidebook. I feel like this is just it's a beautiful affirmation right? and there may be some more messages for us to hear here okay joy is the magical energy that runs whirls and dances through the universe it is both the anticipation and recognition of the opportunities for happiness within every moment joy is a bubbling over of divine happiness a dip into the cosmic well of hope and freedom when we are joyful we are divine and magic Worked to experience joy is more often more and more fully sacred, powerful, and a wonder of the universe. If this card shows you, welcome to a bubbling spring of joy in your life. Working this spell will help you experience intense delight and an almost delirious feeling of innocent appreciation of all that is around you. You will be able to see and feel the beauty in each moment, and the universe will love you all the more for casting such a beautiful spell. If you chose this card, joy will come to you after you cast this spell. Even during its casting, joy's delightful power will leave you refreshed and happy with peaks of everescent euphoria. Enjoy it and remember that this, is, that this time is important to reconnect you with the essential innocence of your magical, instinctual nature. Okay, so I, I, I like how they referred to that as being part of joy, being part of our magical, instinctual nature. So instinctual nature tells me, right, that it's part of maybe my essence, right, my spirit, my eternal and infinite energy, right, that unconditional love and the joy that follows that. I recognize that energy, you know, joy, and most of us probably do. I mean, just reading that affirmation brings me joy. Okay. So let's see what the opening energy is taking us into today's Tarot Love Reading. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. The opening energy taking us into today's Tarot Love Reading is the Strength card. Uh, also the card of Leo. So some of you, you may be a Leo. You may have a Leo in your life. Uh, beautiful energy, right? The universe pointing out, recognizing our strength. Not just our outer strength, it's our inner strength. Uh, you know, the kind of strength that we draw upon to help us through difficult and trying times. Okay. Coming in next, we have the Three of Cups. Uh, the Three of Cups is a beautiful energy by itself. What it represents is the energy of getting out with friends, right? Getting out with friends and sharing in laughter and stories and good times. Right? 
being able to connect yourself with these limitless, joyful energies. Okay, I'm really liking today's tarot reading so far. Coming in next, we have the full card. So the full card, uh, beautiful energy, right? A universal divine energy. If you look at the figure here on the card, she's standing on the edge of this cliff, right? She looks like she's gonna walk over the edge. She's not going to. It's a part of her that just knows that she's not. She's not worried about it, fearful of it. If anything, right? She is caught up in the wonders of life, right? Being able to recognize and appreciate all of the beauty that surrounds her, right? Similar to joy, right? It, that, was, that we described out of the guidebook, right? This is taking on that youthful energy, uh, kind of at the beginning of the journey, so not taking any fears and worries and concerns with you. So it's a beautiful energy. All right, tell us more. Okay, all right, showing up at the center of today's tarot love reading, we have the Four of Wands, right? so beautiful energy. As many consider this the happily ever after card, right? the commitment card, it represents the energy of two energies coming together. So for those that, where it involves romantic love, it means that, that very thing. He is her knight in shining armor, she's his queen. There's a closeness and a connection that's shared between these two. <clears throat> this can also be a work-related energy, right? Business-related in terms of energies coming together. I feel like it's relationship for a lot of people. more tell us more okay coming in next to the four of wands we have the devil card which is the card of Capricorn so some of you may have a Capricorn in your life or you may be a Capricorn uh, the energy in this card is typically connected to our ego which is generally connected to fears of some sort, right? Fears, worries, concerns. And sometimes these fears can manifest in other ways. Um, but that's generally the energy that it represents. It can represent the energy of passion. Uh, it's kind of too soon to really be able to tell for sure. But Pan in the background is playing his flute, right? Trying to play this beautiful tune. To woo her underneath this tree where she'll lay down and partake of the fruit. Okay, coming in next to the Devil card, we now have the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles by itself represents balance, right? maintaining balance in your life. If you look at the figure here on the card, this nymph is standing, holding these two pentacles on the ends of her arms, right? carefully balancing those. She's doing a pretty darn good job, right? She's kind of showing off with her pose a little bit. very confident in balancing. Doesn't seem like it's a struggle. All right, tell us more. Okay, coming in next and attached to the Three of Cups, we have the Lover's card. So the card of Gemini, uh, beautiful energy. Right? So you, get, you may be a Gemini, you may have a Gemini in your life. Um, the lover's card, I feel like this is the same connection that's showing up at the center of today's tarot reading, the four of wands, right? Same two energies coming together. Right? It's 
beautiful energy. It's two people that are very, very comfortable with one another. Um, two people that get it, that understand it. Two people that have shared life experience together. Right? Choosing to come together because two are stronger than one. Right? So this is a this is a beautiful union. That's coming in attached to the Three of Cups. Okay, coming in next, we have the Sun card. And this is coming in attached to the Fool card. Uh, so the Sun card, again, the card of Leo. Uh, so we're seeing Leo twice in today's tarot reading. Uh, beautiful energy. In fact, this is maybe my favorite energy out of the whole tarot set uh, in terms of what it represents. So it represents feeling and experiencing that energy of childlike enthusiasm right, about life. Uh, maybe about this relationship. Uh, it's connected to the energy of the full, right? So of letting go of fears and worries and concerns, right? So letting those fears, worries, and concerns go, and then just letting the sun shine on you, right? The sun, source of all energy, represented here in this card, right? So feeling that brightness, that hope, letting go of the fears and the worries. Yeah, this is a this is. A, Fantastic tarot read today. Just when I say that. Uh, okay, got away from me. And I could edit and chop things up and make it clear and perfect, but rather just be raw and real. What you see is what you get. All right, tell us more. Tell us more. Tell us more. Maybe here. Maybe we're just supposed to end on the sun card. It would be a fantastic finish. Okay, perfect. This was an important energy. Uh, so I was hoping for an individual single card flip and that's what came out. So showing up at the center of today's tarot love reading. Uh, and connected, attached to this Four of Wands, we have the Emperor card, so the card of Aries. Right? So, for some of you, you may be an Aries yourself, or you may be in a relationship with an Aries that's connected to this Four of Wands, right? It doesn't have to be the case, but by way of Zodiac, that's what it represents. Um, this is a great energy, a great energy to show up being connected to this Four of Wands, right? is it? It represents the strength, right, and the stability that's connected to these two people, this four of wands, these two energies coming together, right? 
the union, the commitment. I mean, it, it validates it in a, in a very strong way. Okay, coming in next, and attached to the Devil card, we have the Four of Pentacles. Right? So the Four of Pentacles, and it's connected, it's attached to fear. Right? So the Four of Pentacles represents um, things in life that matter too much to us. Right? They're what, when we create must-haves for ourselves in life. Right? Similar to the, the image here on the card, right? she must have these Pentacles. So she's clinging to them with her arms and her legs. Right? They're holding her captive. She's giving up her power right, in many ways to these pentacles. So whatever this represents to you in your life, right? There's something that you're hanging on to a little bit too tightly. Uh, and it's attached to fear, if that's any help at all. Possibly the fear of, of losing something. Okay, coming in next and attached to the two of pentacles. We have the five of pentacles. Uh, so the Five of Pentacles, it's a limiting energy, representing that energy of feeling like you're left out in the cold, um, you know, not being included. So it's, it's representing that energy of scarcity as opposed to abundance. That's coming in attached to the Two of Pentacles. taking us out of today's tarot love reading we have the seven of cups so representing the energy of having a lot of choices right having options lots to choose from similar to the figure in this card she's on top of this dragon flying through the air being offered all of these cups but not receiving any of them could be because the cup she may want is down here on the ground with the rainbow coming out of it if that's the case she'll need to go to the ground right? so for some this could be encouraging you to get grounded, right? And, and feels like it's an important energy and an important message because it's been the Seven of Cups has been showing up quite a bit lately in the in the readings. And this is a beautiful time of year, right? With the seasons and the weather and such, to get up to the canyon or go to a park, go for a walk barefooted, hug a tree. Coming in next is the energy taking us out of today's Sierra Love Read is the Three of Wands, right? Representing the energy of feeling, you know, getting ready to start a journey, just like the figure here in this card. She's sitting on the side of this hill and she's looking at the journey in front of her. She pulls out a crystal ball because she wants to get an idea of what this journey looks like. She holds it up to the sun. Two rays shooting out of the crystal ball, which for some may represent beginning this journey or starting this journey with another person. More than likely, there's four of wands in the lover's card here, right? These two energies that are coming together. We have these two wands that are kind of illuminating right there as well. The third over here just isn't quite as bright. Okay. All right, I have today's tarot love reading um, done. Now I need to look at the cards and see where they're placed. In terms of relationship to one another, um, I do want to ask for some clarification. <clears throat> so I have my uh, Universal Tarot set here. I'll just give it one shuffle and then uh, we'll I'll talk about the areas that we want to... Getting further clarification is just getting going a little bit deeper. Um, getting some more specific information throughout different parts of the tarot reading. So <clears throat> the first area that I want to get some clarification on is the Lover's card. So the card of Gemini here. It's coming in attached to the Three of Cups. So tell me more about the Lover's card.
Okay, so asking for a little further clarification on the Lover's card, and we have the King of Wands. Okay, so the King of Wands represents fire sign energy. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, so connected, could be one of the energies that's connected to this couple here on this Lover's card. Could be a fire sign, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And if not that, somebody that kind of embraces that kind of energy, right? And the King of Wands is he's confident, he knows what he wants, he goes after it. Um, great energy, very motivating and inspiring to others. I mean, it makes sense because there's nothing but the sun and these beautiful energies that are surrounding these two. And now I want to ask for a little further clar clarification on the Four of Wands showing up at the center of today's Tarot Love reading. Okay. All right. Getting further clarification on the Four of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups now. Right? So Aces represent beginnings. So it's connected to this to these, energy, these two energies coming together in union, right? In some kind of commitment, whether it's, you know, uh, exclusivity um, or of, of just going out, getting together. Uh, for some, it may be moving in together. Uh, for others, maybe getting engaged, getting married, right? But it leads to this beautiful, loving beginning right? attached to this Ace of Cups. I mean, I'm just kind of noticing right, this hand on this Ace of Cups, right? It's, it's coming right out of the sky. It's kind of like the hand of God, you know, kind of blessing the union. Right? And, I mean, look at how the cup is overflowing, right, with a lot of love and emotion. Okay, now I have to ask about this Five of Pentacles. Tell us more about the Five of Pentacles. Further clarification on the Five of Pentacles, please. Okay, so coming in, attached to the Five of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant card, right, which is the card of Taurus. Uh, so this is a card representing you know, spiritual wisdom, right? Seeking that higher counsel. So it's coming in attached to the Five of Pentacles, right, which is um, that energy of scarcity, right, of, of not being included. Um, so being encouraged to take on a higher level of thinking, right, like the Hierophant, of being able to see above and beyond this energy of scarcity, right, of just knowing that it's part of the experience, not to take it personal, right, not to embrace those energies of scarcity and being left out. It's also about trusting, you know, trusting yourself, trusting the universe, right? trusting that you will not be left out in the cold. Okay, so I think I have today's Tara Love reading done. I'm going to take a moment and look at it and just see where the cards are in terms of relationship to each other. And I'll come back and I'll share the whole reading with you guys start to finish. So hang on just a few moments while I take a moment to look at this. I think I have it. I love today's tarot reading. Uh, I always do, but there's some fantastic energies and messages right here in today's tarot love reading. So we begin the reading with the affirmation of joy. As I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me, right? So that's the energy that's available, that's connected right to this tarot reading, right? And as I'm looking at it, as I went through and, and Pulling the cards and reading it. That's what it's all about is joy, right? 
So the opening energy taking us into today's Tarot Love Reading is the Strength card. Right, so recognizing and pointing out our strength, our inner strength, and also the strength that's connected to the energies that are involved right, in today's Tarot Reading. Right? Because this couple uh, here showing up as the lovers and the Four of Wands, power couple. There, there's strength there, right, that you share together, right? You do very, very well together. Okay. I love to see these energies showing up, right? So we have the Three of Cups and the Lover's Card. So Lover's Card represents two people choosing two or stronger than one coming together in union. And this is just letting letting us know, right, that it's it's well beyond just romantic love. These these guys are like best friends, right? Three of cups, and you may have even met and come together, being out with friends. Um, that could definitely be the case for many of you. But yeah, beautiful energies, uh, best friends, soulmates. So the two of you together, right, sharing your energies. Beautiful experience here, right, showing up as the full card. What's attached to the full card is the sun card, right? So if these energies are resonating with you, right, in, this, in terms of this relationship, it serves you very well, right, to move forward with this relationship, letting go of the fears and the worries and the concerns, right? Any energies that are limiting of scarcity and such, of letting go of those, right? Why? Because the sun is shining on you. We have the sun card attached to the full, right? Representing the energy of childlike enthusiasm. So just, it's a beautiful energy. Okay, and then showing up next at the center of today's Tarot Love Reading, we have the Four of Wands. So representing that commitment, you know, of coming together, right? strength, taking us into today's reading, we have the emperor that's attached to this, this union of these two, representing the strength and the trust, the security, the stability, right, that's connected to the two of you coming together. I asked for a little further clarification, right? We have the king of wands, so there may be a fire sign that's connected to these two energies coming together or somebody that takes on and embraces that kind of energy. Then Ace of Cups, right, representing a very loving beginning, right? It's connected to these two. I have lots of cards here to navigate through. Okay, coming in next, we have the Devil card. So the card of Capricorn. And what's attached to the Capricorn card is the four pentacles, right? So hanging on to things too tightly, right? Creating these must-haves in life. Right? Let go of the must-haves. Let, let, letting go of our fear, right? The fears, the worries, and the concerns. Just not an energy that serves you well. It looks like you're stepping into a, a period of abundance. So it's not the time to be hanging on to, to things too tightly. So one of the energies you may be hanging on too tightly to, right, could be connected to this Five of Pentacles. So an energy of scarcity, of being left out in the cold. Um, connected to it, attached to it is the Two of Pentacles, right? So it's about reminding us to be balanced, right? Maintain our balance. And this is one area of an energy that's there showing up that can take us out of our balance, right? So it's just pointing it out so we can recognize and be aware of it. Okay, energy is taking us out of today's tarot love reading. We have the Seven of Cups representing the energy of having a lot of choices, right? So some of you may have a lot of choices in terms of direction and journey to take, to go, moving forward. Many of you may be stepping into this journey with another person, right? Three of Wands. Okay, guys, I'm done with today's tarot love reading. Uh, 
I really enjoyed this reading. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share it with all of you. Uh, I hope it resonated with you. I hope you're able to hear your messages here. I hope in some way, shape, or form, right, by listening to this tarot reading, you're able to raise your vibration today, right, to be able to embrace more of that energy of unconditional love and inevitably be able to live and experience and feel more joy, more abundance in your life. Okay, guys, have a beautiful Friday afternoon. Thank you.